Tales from Ovid's Metamorphoses inspired Titian to paint what he called poesy, or poetry in paint. Here, Venus tries to stop her lover from departing for the hunt, fearing correctly that he would be killed. The mood of sensuality, conveyed by the beautiful depiction of Venus, seen from the back, enhances the viewer's sense of the tragic end to this story, expressed through their exchanged glances in the frightened Cupid. The distortions of figures and objects in the works of Matisse and Picasso demonstrably serve their pictures' volume, space, and movement. Their distortions are different in degree, but not in kind, from those found in such old masters as Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Rubens, Titian, and Dürer, and they serve the same purpose. Consider, for example, Titian's Venus and Adonis in the Metropolitan Museum. Venus's right thigh is much too long. A realistic rendering would not show any of that thigh because the pelvis would hide it. Titian shows us the knee too far to the left in order to create a pinwheel of limbs which whirls clockwise until it meets Adonis's advancing leg. The distortion makes the form kinesthetic and simultaneously conveys the movement of Ovid's story as Adonis leaves his lover's grasp. I am Tiago and this video is about the Renaissance painter Titian. Titiano Pacellio was born in Pieve di Cadore, Italy in 1488. He is considered to be one of the greatest painters of the Italian Renaissance. In his teens, he became an apprentice of the artist Sebastiano Zucato. He soon worked with artists like Bellini and Giorgiano, who deeply influenced them. In 1516, Titian began to work for a major church in Venice. He painted the Assumption of the Virgin for the High Altar. This established Titian as a leading painter. 